Hello, folks, and welcome back to Control. All right, we need to go find ourselves a Black Rock Prism. Hey, Apparently, it's blocked you by Giant this, Monster Doom. Bottom shelf only, though. Uh, there might be some intel on this monster. Ranger Squad Charlie Seven returned from an expedition into the Quarry Threshold just after zero five hundred Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. <coughs> Secondary objective was not a success. Ow. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No, nothing. Do you think we should talk about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. <laughs> Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Well, I mean, I'm kind of thinking they might have actually seen a mermaid, but it might just be fucking with them, too. All right, I don't think there's anything else here. Obviously, just we can stay go calm that way. and keep those HRAs on. I mean, definitely we'll keep the HRAs soon. on. I guess we're going to go fight a monster. I mean, maybe it looks like a mermaid. Hmm. How is a monster? Well, apparently just leaves his food lying around. So we know he's not exactly couth. At least he wasn't raised properly. But, you know, that's the way monsters are nowadays. Just can't seem to... Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Can't seem to pull their act together sometimes. Okay, well, maybe they'll give us a clearance level 5 once we defeat this guy. That seems to be blocking most of our progress here. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Okay, there's red things of doom over there, which is cool and all, but not necessarily helpful. Let's hope this is actually helpful. Hmm. Looks like containment vessel of some kind. Looks Shit. Like it's broken. They're shattered. Not a single prism left. What the oh. fuck? Hello. That's not a mermaid. Well, I got it down to like half. Where to go? Gotta gone, gone somewhere. Oh, I think it's coalescing. That's not it. Mm hmm. But I think it's coming towards me. Some weird disturbance in the air, anyway. Definitely want to stay the hell away from it. Maybe I hit it again. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Come and get me. I'm right here. Okay, so you can't hit it while it's in a transparent state. It's basically just... Wait. Not done yet. Let's get our energy back. What the hell? Okay. That wasn't Let's too bad. Up and find Darling's lab. That was actually fairly straightforward. I did get hurt a bit there, though. Uh, records? Yeah, there we go. His distorted. His distorted agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in close range of their target. Curiously, the His distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The His distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranormal ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power. How does invisibility work? Does the distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use His resonance to refract light? The physical deformation of the particular His entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly, the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? I mean, I'm going to go with yes, because I've always been murdering basically everybody, and I'm not okay with that. Now, 
little bit more health. I probably need to invest some in ability points and making sure we get more health from those drops. So I keep on getting poked and it's not a fun time. I don't see anything else here we can grab. All right. So here we are at the lab. I half expect more bad guys to be here. I mean, I'm kind of surprised it was that easy to defeat that monster. But I guess we did put a lot of power into our launches. We're under the right conditions when the frequencies match. Here I'm talking. Oh, he's up here. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard Extra that too, right? Dimensional matter. Black rock comes from the a threshold. Out a Ari. Of frequencies. A, so a good thing. the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line firebreaks are about. The Panopticon container uh, cells. Sorry that... to interrupt, sir, but I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes, Blackrock 665, neighbor of the beast. Get it? <laughs> we can do that again if you. Neighbor of the beast? I mean, isn't it the, um, the number of the beast isn't actually 666, it's, um, damn it. Oh, I forget. Basically, they've done the math wrong. So it isn't 666. It's actually another number, and I forget what that number is. Darling's key. Oh, clearance level 5. This nice. should get us into the quarry. That'll do it. That'll do it for damn sure. Okay, good. So we have clearance level 5 now. Fantastic. Okay. Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of redacted density that nullifies all resonances within a range of redacted to redacted hertz. Bureau innovations that incorporate black rock will be analyzed, most notably the fire breaks, feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using black rock, as work in that field has markedly slowed in recent years. Is there anything else around here we need to grab first? Doesn't seem to be anything else in any of these corners, so I guess we just go. Alright, bidoop. There we go. Alright, so processing. When we not actually. I guess we're in processing now. We need to go up to the quarry because all the prisms are broken, so we need to actually get it like a raw prism from the mine. Everything here is crazy weird but it feels right like how the world should be i am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions and i never want to leave even with all the horror i'm happy it feels sane or just the right kind of insane now uh, we've got a floating guy with an armor. Not floating. He's exploded now. Still more guys around, I guess. Oh, uh, yep. Right there. I see you. A box is in my way. But now they're not. Probably take that health, thank you. Anything else in here? Well, another clearance level five, so we can go up this way. Let's just verify there's nothing else over here we don't want. A little unclear what the purpose of this particular area is. Oh, this is above the... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So it all connects. This is the NSC power room. Yeah, the NSC control room's over here now. Probably with a level five clearance. Okay, boxes are good. We like boxes. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this control point. 
No ability points yet, but that's alright. I kind of hope there would be an ability point for defeating that boss, but what are you going to do? Interesting. So I think it's reading our... I believe it's reading our clearance level. Okay, great. So now we know these things connect. I always love it when games do this. Metroidvanias, Dark Souls... I mean, Dark Souls is kind of a Metroidvania if you don't think about it too hard. I mean, it's definitely inspired by, for sure. But anytime you do, like, looping things like this, it's very cool. Alright, so here we're on Black Rock Quarry. We could call the elevator. Actually, no, the elevator is here? No, it isn't. We're on the bottom of the elevator. I think? No, the elevator is totally here. Okay, so we can take the elevator later. Now we totally have level 5. And, of course, there are bad guys. And a control point, which we're totally going to take. Well, nobody complained about it. If I can actually pinpoint this guy. Kind of hoped he would die, but... Oh, there's a sniper. There's a sniper. Can't see the sniper right now, but he's totally there. I'm hoping he comes to me, but that's pretty unlikely, isn't it? Ah, crap. Yep, yep, yep. They're sniping at me. I don't think this is going to be accurate enough, but I'm hoping. It's not. It's not accurate enough. I don't think that was working either. Oh, there we go. I think we got him. Got some red marks on him anyway. I think that actually killed him. I think we got him. Oh, hello. That did hurt a little bit. We mostly made up for the health. Okay, I think what we need to do is, like, dash here. There we go. Yeah, we did totally kill the other sniper. Nice. Okay, so that worked out. Oh, hello. Can't believe throwing stuff at him actually works. Okay, go ahead and pop this for me. Thank you. Health boost mod might be okay. NSC. The NSC was designed by order of Deputy Chief Trent shortly before it became director. The container provides a safe method of extraction of Redactus energy excess energy output while acting as a humane way to house him. The coolant pumps keep the container and its redacted from overheating while the energy is siphoned. The energy is then connected to the converters, where it is rendered into a redacted through the use of turbine generators. The electricity produced powers the entire bureau, making it is completely self-sufficient and effectively invisible on the New York City grid. After NSC-01 disappearance by some unknown manifestation of redacted's power, the occupant was restrained and a second model was built. NSC-02 possesses built-in spatial anchors that are designed to prevent any translocative effect from its occupant. So there's a person inside? Well, internal movement detected. That can't be good. Oh, yeah, you can see on the monitors. If that's a heat map, that totally looks like a person. Uh, do we get to talk to the nice man inside? Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's friendly. I mean, he's gotta be bored all hell to hell, right? I mean, he's just stuck in this room. And he probably can't even have reading material. He's probably, like, completely isolated. Am I going the right way? Where do I need to go? Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going the right way. I just need to go over... Okay, so that explains the... I was wondering what the hubs were, or the spokes on this wheel. Now we know. They're up here. Okay, so we just need to go this way. Yeah, we're fine. Could use a little more health, but couldn't we always? Let's see. There should be... Yeah, there we go. There's a door over there. Is there enough to know these fans? Oh, these fans are just for me to move around later, huh? Oh, actually, more now. Hello there. Lore. We like lore. And supplements. The notion of fan death has now become widely known in the region, since foreign investigator Redacted met with a local journalist to explain how electrofans operate at speeds 
that may suffocate users by overly disturbing the air. Yeah, that's a common myth in Korea, I want to say. I think it's Korea. As our agency is still young, we must take care to avoid missteps. Any explanation given to the public must provide sufficient yet vague rationale that will reaffirm the certainty that ours is a stable, controlled world. We must tread carefully, especially in this increasingly technological world, with radio and other innovations allowing information to travel at speeds previously undreamt of. This is precisely why we insist that our department had a whole communication with public bodies. Head of the Public Knowledge Department, okay. Alright, nothing else around here as far as I can tell. So just a little bit of extra lore. That's always fun. Uh, jump up. There we go. Alright. I mean, why even bother right now? Like, I wouldn't be able to do this without clearance level 5 anyway. It's just to give me a sense of accomplishment, I guess. Pride in my work. Yeah, I made it to 5. Okay, so we want to go to Black Rock Quarry number 1. Again, let's watch, look around, make sure we're not missing anything, like, say, inside of a shelter. It's kind of weird it says maximum occupancy six people. Like, you totally fit more than six in here. Well, maybe not comfortably. And I would guess that these three things here are supposed to be beds. Like, they pull out. I don't know. These three things are beds. Yeah, so then these three would totally be beds. So that's six. I guess then you have the restroom, which you kind of have to do in front of everybody. So that sucks. Yeah, maybe you don't want some more than six people in here, right? Might be a little overcrowded. No privacy at all. Like, you definitely want that to be, like, a temporary solution for sure. Okay. Uh, we could go the other side. Is there anything over there? I doubt it, but it's always worth checking. I don't see any dots or anything. This looks like this might open later. It certainly doesn't open now. All right, let's go ahead and pop the elevator. I'm expecting a bad guy to pop out, but I could be wrong. Elevator's broken. Of course it is. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way. I mean, there are ladders on the inside. On the inside and the outside. I think they're on the inside. Yeah, there's ladders on the inside. I don't know if Jesse necessarily wants to do that, though. I mean, one way to go down would be to just continually jump. Kind of hate that idea, but I think that's what they want us to do. How very Blight Town of them. This does kind of remind me of the basic structure of Blight Town in Dark Souls. Oh, and bad guys appeared. Because now Jesse's got her weapon out. All right, let's go for it. Yep, bad guy down there. I see him. Can't hit us yet, though, hopefully. But there's a jump point right here. At least it's more obvious than in Dark Souls. That was my main problem, is that in Blight Town is just so hard to figure out where you're supposed to go. I think that worked. Okay, so he's dead. Was that only the only guy? That's weird, right? That can't be right. I don't believe it. Not for a second. Jesse, you put away your gun way too soon. Um, I'm kind of stuck. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Thought for a minute that I was going to fall to my doom. But only slight doom. Oh, come on. I just need a house memory. That's all I need. All right, maybe I've got to look at a wiki to see, like, where the house memories drop. Because that's all I need to get the mod for the... Or the, uh, the additional mod slot for the gun. Alright, simple enough. I'm kind of surprised there's no bad guy here. This would be a hell of a place for, like, a running gunfight. But apparently we're not going to have it. Okay, how are we going to get down this way? Oh, there's a dude there. Jesse now sees. Okay, so... Come over to this side, walk along the pipes for a bit. Where's that guy at? Is he underneath? Where'd he go? The hell? He, he glows. You'd think he'd be obvious. you think he'd be easy to spot. Mm hmm. I'm gonna come down here and he's gonna pop out at me and say hello. No? 
Maybe he's further down. I didn't think he was, but apparently I'm just wrong. Maybe he went further down. Maybe he just jumped. Oh, I can't get through there. Well, let's just go in and shoot him here. There we go. He blows up. Nice and simple. As long as I don't have to go on the same... Ah, uh, shoot. There's another one down there, probably. There's more red, for sure. Okay, don't go down too far, remember. Yeah, fall damage is a thing. Though Jessie's freaking breaking stone and metal when she lands, so... She's apparently made of sterner stuff. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do that if I was land on this. Okay. Now we get more bad guys. Yeah, I know. I see a guy right there. I just can't shoot him yet. I guess I could. Might get him out here. There we go. Whoops. Shit. It's okay. We're alive. That's what's important. Just want to get my perspective here. Totally blocked away, and we're good. Oh, control point. We should grab that. Come on, grab it. Power of control compels you. Okay, not too shabby. It's so funny, the remnants. The remnants of the UI just sticking around. We cleared away by looking at the map. It's so very strange. Alright, anything else around here? Oh, well, now does the elevator work? We should be so lucky, right? Elevator does totally work now. I was probably stuck because... Right, because of the shift, right? That makes sense. If the geometry of the world doesn't work right, of course the elevator's not going to work. You should take the stairs or some other method of conveyance. Makes total sense. I had to just think about it longer than 0.3 seconds. Oh, hello there, Hiss. Deal with this guy up here first. That was easy. Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, there's just no healers. But apparently there's still more bad guys. Where are they at? There's no sphere of healing, but there's got to be something else around. Otherwise, Jessie wouldn't still have her gun out. Looking around. I don't see anything. I mean, maybe it just goes on forever. Who knows how long this quarry goes? And of course, you might get dead ends, or this might all just loop. Uh, map, what do you say? Okay, at least the maps give a decent idea of where we're supposed to go. Oh, hello. You know, it's the same rules. Whenever you're lost, just stand still. Let the team find you. Okay, we got some shielded guys. So far, so good. Didn't actually take any damage there, either. I'm about to lose that, aren't I? I love the telekinesis in this game. It just locks on so well. It's just so good. Jedi Fallen Order, take notes. This is how you do Jedi powers, all right? This is how you do it. Apparently there's still more bad guys around. I think I could just keep on staying still, but maybe I need to go in like certain areas. So, and there's a dead end over there, but it might have like, you know, a box. We like boxes. Yeah, that's not gonna happen right now, game. Or lore, we like lore. Um, There we go. I guess we want collectibles over here. 
home save we already looked at, I thought. And right, where are we at? I already read the home safe one. I'm doing that. We need additional diamond blades ASAP. Continuous rim this time to get the clean cut research once. This block right shit is tough. We're going through blades that were made of the damn things. The mention of these slabs of block right that one are outrageous. For all the grief they're causing me, these firebreaks better fucking work a treat. Go ahead and double the last order. Okay, so apparently it's really hard to cut this stuff. Though maybe Jesse can just pull it out of the wall because she has, you know, special powers. Um, that's disturbing. Not to mention the fact that it's jittery. Am I supposed to walk on this? It's a very good question. Looks like it kind of loops. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I mean, up might be the answer, but is it the answer I want now? It seems like levitation might be good at some point. I mean, it's the only way we're getting over this particular quarry, right? Oh, there's a doom thing in there. Okay, so we fall, weedy. So don't fall. Shooting it's not going to help, though. This thing's damn well invulnerable. The only thing you can do about this guy is contain him. Or avoid him, which is what we're going to try to do. Okay. All right, so we got to walk on these things. For various words, definitions of the word walk. Okay, maybe a small dodge here. Okay, that worked. I haven't fallen yet. Theoretically, I'm okay. I could just drop now. But I would like to make it over here. I'm curious what's up. Like, literally, what's up here. Where is the guy? I don't see him now. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's still there. He's still there. Okay. Okay, just need this rock to raise up a little more. That can jump. And then I guess air dodge? Oh, it doesn't raise up that far. Uh, the trick is whether or not Jesse's going to be able to clamp on and climb. I guess we can try it. Okay, that worked. Didn't even really need the air dodge. Okay, that oh, worked. Not what I expected. Uh, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Holy crap. It's actually open to air. Yeah, but it looks like we might be in the astral plane. Are we mining the astral plane? That seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? I don't entirely know why, but it just seems like a bad idea. I guess we just drop. There's actually nothing up here. There's no reason to come up here at all. Mostly just for the extra challenge, I suppose. I don't see anything down there I want either, but it looks like there's just there's a tunnel underneath here. So I guess the safest thing to do I mean, just make sure I didn't take any fall damage. Okay. Um Yeah, nothing over this way. So, yeah, now we're in the main camp area. I do want to see if I can hang to the right. So I'm curious what that little rectangular room is. Hopefully it isn't actually upstairs. Oh, and we might see more hiss here. Huh. Oh, there we go. It's this room here. I mean, Jesse's grabbing her gun, like, for dear life here, so who knows. No boxes. Some containers we can't really open. Square base. Um, is that a square? Oh, yeah, I guess it's even on both sides. Yeah, it is. I meant that it was rectangular. Okay, there's nothing else really here. So, Jesse, what do you sense that I don't? Because I don't know why you're grabbing up this gun for your life. Let's go for the stairs. I don't know where the hell we're going. We're going this way, I guess. Okay, don't suppose this is clearance level 5, because that'd be great. Okay, it is clearance level 5. Great. So, this is probably how we get back. Yeah, which we don't want to do yet. Because we still need the prism from the quarry. Alright. So, there's probably a hiss down there. Oh, yep. Totally can see him now. Totally can see him now. 
All right, I could just jump down or just open fire on him, I guess. Apparently I can't shoot for the dam. I thought my sights were right over that guy. Apparently not. It's funny the artifacts it left over. Oh, what the? Okay, that's a thing. Well, the artifacts get cleared by explosions, so that's cool. Oh, we did manage to get a shot off. While I was hitting him, by the way. And there's more. Because there's always more. This is no healing. Oh, don't make the liar on me. No, I don't think I don't think there is healing. Okay, I think we're good. And of course, oh, there we go, healing. And oh, we have um, yeah, special things. I don't know exactly what that is. But it seems bad. Some of these guys we can just kill straight away, though. Now oh, this again. Okay. We dealt with these guys before. We just need to make sure we have cover. The sphere is not moving. There we go. Healing down. Got an explosion guy. Am I just explode? I should be so lucky. Stop keeping yourself armor. I didn't go downstairs. Okay, just keep knocking him back. That's the big guys down. Now there's these guys. Stop screaming. Nobody, you think that was murdering you? I mean, I'm going to, but that's different. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah, we're done. All right. I mean, there's some weird distortion in the air, but I'm going to treat that as just after effect. Threshold remnant. Oh, no freaking house memories, though. Come on. Okay, I'm going to have to look at a wiki then. If you're not going to give me house memories, and I need that to upgrade my gun, then we're obviously missing something. All right, I'll, I'll look that up between episodes. That, that's got to... I'm missing something obvious. Okay, what do we got? Quarry incident. During my weekly safety inspection at the quarry threshold, I discovered the entire crew in a state of redacted. The whole team was redacted, aligned and staring in a uniform direction, the city in the distance. Despite my most vocal efforts to gain their attention, they remained redacted for more than redacted minutes until I had to resort to literally redacted. Afterwards, they were dazed and could not provide any rationale for their behavior or any specific memories of engaging in it. My official recommendation for any crew working in the threshold area is either shorten the length of their shifts or to carry out mandatory psychological evaluations on a weekly basis, or, preferably, both. And maybe we should order another expedition to the city. There's this city. I mean, I know it's open to air, and this is in the astral realm, but... I haven't seen a city? Right, so that's clearly where they mine the stuff. Oh, it needs, it needs generators into it. Of course it does, okay. See if there's an easy way to get up there. I mean, there's a generator there we can pull over. Actually, the generator's all over. Yeah, we probably need to find, like, certain ones. So it looks like we need three generators. But I saw three. Okay, so there's one here for sure. Go ahead and plug that one in. Thank you. All right, number two I thought was... Yeah, there we go. There's the second one over here. That's easy. 
I thought I saw a third one. There we go. It's blinking. Makes it really easy to spot. Which is probably by design. Okay. And... Oh, there's actually one right there, too, in case you missed this one, I guess. Or maybe we need more. There's going to be a whole bunch of them around now that I look at them. Uh, let me just go ahead and plug this one in, though. I think we just need the three. Hmm. Or maybe more. And there's a whole bunch more generators around. There's one here. There's, like, four more. Why would you need that many more? It could be they just want to make sure you have enough in case you use them for the battle. That could be it. Well, is this detonation rope? Probably don't want to be nearby when this happens. Um, there's some kind of weird... Yeah, there's a thing there. Am I supposed to, like, grab it or something? Probably not. Yeah, this looks like... Looks like the focus is supposed to be here. Well, we don't want to be this close when it all blows up. That seems like that would be bad. How will we go over to where it's all wired in and then set it off there? Even over here, it seems a little close, but maybe it's fine. Oh, hey, look at that. Button and everything. I mean, I could never resist a big, wide, big red button. Nice. Doesn't seem to have called in the hiss. Probably should actually wait for the dust to clear because you're not wearing any face protection, but all that for a tiny little piece? I mean, I guess it's not that tiny. It's probably big as. And there it is. Or right maybe. where you led me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. Ah, oh, crap. We I got more bad guys. I the marshal before it's too late. HRAs? Oh. Then Dylan. It's the freaking invulnerable guy. As long as we go around, I think we're fine. Yeah, he's mad, but he doesn't know where, where we are. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Um, help. Okay, this is bad. They might both know where I am now. And we're running. Uh, there was a staircase up here, right? Eh, yeah, kind of. Weird definition of the word stair, but yes. And we're running. Full on run now, like, no question. Just book it out of here. Oh, that's a dead end. They might be following me, they might not. Let's just assume they are. That's a dead end too. Can I look at the map, please? Okay, this gate, not on the map. Not actually on the map. Maybe it locked in when everything exploded? Okay, then we've got to go back out. And basically left hand rule this. Okay. Right, the stairs. The stairs. You gotta remember the stairs. So, might as well book it. Okay, this, this door. That's what we want. Okay. Oh, and there's more of these guys, because of course there is. Of course there is. Can we, um... That's the Gate of Doom. We want to go towards the power plant. We definitely don't want these guys to come towards us. So we can loop around this way. We know this is a loop. As long as they don't see us... I think he just saw me. I guess we can reduce him. Or not. He doesn't seem to want to be reduced. I got his attention now. I don't think he's going to follow me this way, though. Maybe he can't? Oh, crap. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Just keep on dodging. I wish I could seal this guy in, though. Uh, there's no door for it. Alright, just... Yeah, no actual thing there. Uh, we could fast travel. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Can we? 
it's red right now, so maybe not. Maybe that indicates where I am. So we want to go... I don't remember where we want to go. She in... Ritual Division? No. She was around Luck and Probability. Which actually might be close enough to Ritual Division to make no difference. Assuming, of course, they didn't all make it over to... Executive. They all made it back to Executive. That's why it's in gold. Let's go there. Oh, thank goodness for fast travel. I'm not sure I would be able to find my way there. I mean, I'd eventually be able to do it. Like, give me 30, 40 hours. I'd be able to map this place out. No problem. But um, let's just spend that actually, you know, playing the game. Probably a better time well spent that way. Man, invulnerable bad guys, man. I hate it every time. I mean, I get it, but I kind of hate it too. Okay, so now we speak to Marshall, and possibly also Emily, in the boardroom? This is Central Executive. Oh no, here she is, she's right here. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack doors. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Who does she think she is authorizing that kind of data breach? We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. Oh yeah. This is it. Yeah, you wish. Not gonna be that easy. She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. Not he a surprise. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codename P Six. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Eh, co-workers? I need to see Dylan. Don't really look too deep into it. I need to know. you could tell me what you know explain things just stay with me okay I could use a friend right now oh that's not ominous at all Three all of Darling's data entries from the past month. Okay, we already heard you say that. Okay, so more energy would be good, right? We like energy. Energy's great. Not enough points, though. Oh, though we want to be able to throw debris around. Yeah. Wow, you can double the shield barrage damage. Okay. Um, Three points? We have three points. Isn't that lucky? Yeah, what the hell? Let's go and do it. Okay, great. Now we can throw shields around. Oh, just need three more points. Personal three more little points. Okay, so, yep, insufficient. Need more house memories. Okay, I'm going to find out where those are, because we have everything else we need. We just need the house memories. 
This we could do. Uh, we have more than enough for all of these, and it doesn't actually hurt our upgrade path to the upgrade grip. So, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and get a pierce. So I think that means we can only do... This isn't actually up. I don't want to construct any of these. Um, Crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think back she out. is authorizing that kind of data breach? Okay. So we have spin and we have grip. I guess we could change grip, then it doesn't matter if we upgrade. Well, we still want the other weapon mod, so it does kind of matter. Oh, and more simple nonsense. Okay, get rid of that. And it looks like the only common ones that was there. What personal mods? Ooh, that's a prime quality. Didn't even know there's a thing. Yeah, let's get that energy recovery up. That sounds great. Um, any other prime qualities? Not that I think that's likely, but nope, not really. Well, yeah, we've already got level three. Yeah, the better health boost is good, and we're already there. Actually, doesn't there one for our C speed, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Being able to um, get people on our side a little bit faster wouldn't be terrible. It's a thought. It's a thought. I think more health is still good. I was hoping what I'd find here, though, is... Oh, that's it. That's what I need to track. Um, is a way to get more health from the drops, but I don't think it's actually here. That might actually be a skill. I was hoping it was a personal mod, but I guess not. Uh, exact protection is two minutes. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. We'll wait to the next one. It's fine. It's fine. Eventually, we'll totally be able to get these done. Okay, so, yeah. I'll go ahead and look up what I need to get the uh, the house memories. But right now, thanks for watching. This has been Control on Peace Universe here, Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.